I'm Carrie Lawless and we are Designaholics. On this channel, we teach DIY hacks, how to achieve high-end looks on a budget, and how to make the most money when you sell your home through staging. Today is episode five of season one and we are so excited. These are gonna be the most adorable rooms you've ever seen. This is bedroom two and three and uh, please stay tuned because you don't wanna miss what we're about to do. source of inspiration. In this room, it's this adorable quilt, and we all love pink so much, don't we? Yeah. My favorite. Fondi has pink hair. We have a comforter with pink ribbons. Not ribbons, ruffles. So cute. So cute. So, stay with us. We're gonna get started. We're gonna show you how we use this source of inspiration to make this room amazing. When we do smaller rooms, I always use a twin size frame. Um, and sometimes I'll buy a king because it's cheaper that way and I'll use the two parts separately. And those actually, um, a king is actually the same size as two twin beds put together. So we are using this as a twin. We're gonna make it like a day bed. We're gonna put it against this wall and then we have smoke and mirrors everywhere you look. This is literally how we do our mattresses. Whoops! <laughs> so we've got our bed in place. We've got it about centered on the wall. Um, the other trick we're gonna do is we're gonna use a bed skirt, but in this case, if you use a twin bed skirt, it's going to be, um, it's gonna be missing one side on the end. So what you wanna do is use a king size bed skirt, make it go all the way around and just shove all the rest of the excess in the back. So that's how you're gonna get that completed look all the way around. Let's get started doing that. Okay, something really important, and you'll notice this after your photography, make sure this is ironed and looks beautiful because what you really can't see with your eye is that this really shows. You don't wanna see these cheap legs and you don't wanna see wrinkles. I mean, this isn't terrible, but honestly, this shows. You would not even believe it. All right, so now that we've got that on there, I'm gonna set the mattress down. You wanna place it carefully on there, right in place so it doesn't move the um, skirt around. All right, now, as you can see, these mattresses are never long enough for the bed frame, but that's okay, because once we put the quilt over it, you're not really gonna see. That's it for this step. We're gonna go uh, get our pillows and bring them in. It's gonna look adorable. Pillows! Oh, more pink. Okay, so this is how I like to do a bed. I love it to be really lush and fluffy. Uh, you don't have to worry too much about like what this looks like as long as the top looks good because you're not gonna see this or this. And so now we've got our two shams, all king size pillows because again, a twin sideways is the width of a king. So that's why we went this direction. All right, so uh, I definitely want throw pillows on here. Okay, fancy. And we need artwork. So I purposely wait, I know it doesn't make sense that I would put the bed in place and have to move it for the artwork, but we wanna see kind of how much space we have and you know what we wanna do. And I really need to see the bed, see how high everything is. So I think we have something we're gonna try. Cute little animals. And uh, let's see if we like them. Let's just try a couple of them. Oh! Cute! Those are so adorable. Oh my gosh. What do y'all think about the gray brown frames with all this white and pink? I mean, I like it. I like how it adds another element in there, but what do y'all think? I love it. I love it too. Oh my gosh. So, oh, and listen, there's a tutorial in the description of where we found these. Oh, and there's also gonna be a link, but we're gonna show you where we found the frames and the prints and how we put it all together. So look for that video as well. All right, um, I kind of like how they're laid out. Are you okay with that? Yes. Okay, all right, well, so our picture hanging ninja, Natalia, is gonna hang them up. Mm -hmm. 
Randy and Natalia are getting the cute little throw pillows and we have a cute little throw that we want to try as well. But look how cute these came out. She's truly a ninja. Like it would have taken me all day and I'd have 50,000 holes in the wall. Maybe one day we'll do a tutorial about that, right? Yeah. Maybe I can even learn how to hang pictures. Yes. <laughs> Not my strong suit. All right, so what are we doing with this? Oh, that fluffiness. Should we like put it on the, on the corner? I don't know, try stuff. Yeah. I like the angle of pillows where when you're coming into the room, it, they're kind of like, whatever the arrangement is, is kind of facing the door. I think it looks welcoming. Yes! All right, um, I brought a rug, a pink rug. Let's see what it looks like in here. All right, do we like it enough to keep it? Yeah? yeah. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So people sometimes say, can you really put a rug on carpet? Absolutely, I love the layering. Um, some people would say no, but I can tell you this room without this adorable pink rug would be really bland. It would be too much, and uh, it just fills it up, warms it up, and it's beautiful. All right, yeah. let's just get a couple of inches okay. under. All right, I think that's good enough. I wanna kind of fill up the space. Love that. All right, what's next? I think we need some end tables. End tables. Some lighting. All right. Yeah. End tables. All right. So I don't usually like these white lamps, but I think in this room, they are super cute. All right, we need some decor for this and curtains. Is that it? I think we'll be done. Oh, I brought a cute little chair. It's kind of like, hmm, the color pink isn't really right, but maybe we can camouflage it or something. We'll see. More fluffiness. More fluffy. too and I like how that peach is also a little bit in here like there's a like different shades let's lay them um, maybe this way this way try it I don't know I think yeah oh that's so cute I'm so glad you found those I love how big they are how are these little stones back here that is perfect yes I say let's leave them okay. so what else do we have we just have Oh, the curtains. chair. Oh, curtains and chair. This is the chair I was telling you about. It's oh, so cute so though, cute. huh? Look at this Wait, girl, that color does not work at all. It's way too bright. <laughs> <laughs> well, fur from, okay. fur from uh, of the other side of the room. Oh, I'm living in this Look at her. <laughs> this is Mardi Gras. <laughs> Randy? No more. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at this. Right. Yeah, look how cute are those. Hey, Come that's on. a good idea. I don't know. Yes. Step back. I love it. See what you think. It's so cute. Does that make it work? Absolutely. Y'all think we can use it? I think it looks very girly, so it's um, really cute. Y'all, I have the crowning touch. Oh. Did y'all see this? Unicorn so cute. Is that a ballerina? Yes. Oh, look how cute. All right. What do we do? You know how many more girls are going to Well, like that. she could be here. Ballerina. Should we put her on the nightstand, though? That poor nightstand just needs something, right? Yeah. Kind of boring. Be bright. Yeah. She looks so cute. You're such a cutie. All right. This is the end of the pink room. Do we love how it came out? Oh, yes. So beautiful. I precious. love every detail. All right, we have the purple room to do, and we think it's going to come out as good as this, but we shall see. This adorable thing is our inspiration for bedroom number three. We are excited to see how this comes out, so we're going to start just like we did in the last one, and we're going to bring the bedroom next. So we're doing a headboard in this room. We felt like it really needed it. The ceilings are a little bit taller in here. I wanted something more substantial for this room. So this is actually a queen size that we're putting in here because this room is a really nice size. All right, Wait, is this queen? Yes. Yes. Queen. Okay. Yeah. Um, so we want to show 
we want to show the potential buyer that there's room for whichever kind of setup that they want. So that's why we're showing these two extra bedrooms two different ways. All right, so let's get the bed skirt. How many designaholics does it take to put a bed skirt on? <laughs> Yeah, so sometimes we double up on these mattresses, but do we have another queen here? I don't think so. What is that? Uh, what is that? Oh. That's it. All right, let's try putting it on the bottom, and we're just doing that like as a riser, just to lift it up some. Like if it would be the box spray. Yeah, I mean, it's not the right size, but nobody's ever gonna see that. Let's see if it'll work. really high. That's gonna look some fancy. Not too fancy right now. <laughs> We're laying sheets on top of here. We normally don't, like the comforter or quilt is normally enough, but what's gonna happen is you're gonna be able to see this edge, and we don't wanna see the edge. So we've got a sheet just for covering up. Nobody would pick us. Love it. All right, what are we doing next? We need some curtains. Curtain or I'll go find. <gasps> oh, love it. It's my Can favorite. Like it? Oh, yes. All right, we'll go with that. Y'all think I can put this one here? The styles are kind of uh, different. Yeah. All right. Can you see? Because it still holds the same colors. Yeah. Hmm, pretty cute. I'm gonna show you my little trick. So when you need a table for staging, um, you can find a lot of things to use as a base. These were just some cheap bases that we used from other tables. And then they sell these at Lowe's and Home Depot in the lumber aisle, and it's just the table round. So we get the small ones for the smaller bedrooms. Um, what I have started using, they have these, um, bar stools, little cheap bar stools at Walmart, and I put them under here because I like the height. What I They don't end up being that inexpensive, but what I like about it is I can break this down and it all becomes very flat. It's perfect for staging. So it's just a thought, and we put it next to the bed, and I like the height, and then we just put a tablecloth over it, and then a lamp and decor. Look what I found, what about this? Oh, oh my goodness. I knew I would find a place for this. Well, I knew you would find a place for this. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't even sure when I got this, but I'm so glad I did. That is amazing. All right, so I have these. Oh, I don't know, try that. Yeah, Let's see what that looks like. You know, I might have something else. Let's see what this looks like. Yep, cute. What about this? It goes with the pictures. Yeah, that's perfect. Flowery. Yep. Soft. There you go. Does this little bird? He's kind of cute. Does he need to be anywhere? Oh, I like it. Okay, so I feel like we. Well, we need a bed tray for sure. Um, let's see what we've got. I don't know if I have another tray, but I know I have a, a mirrored frame we might be able to use in place of a tray. Um, and a rug. You didn't bring a rug? I think I have a rug. Right. I don't know if I have the right color. Let's go see what we have. Okay. What does that color let's look see. like? I know. Let's see what this it's color kind of looks like. It's kind of dark, but mm. it's like more pinky, like dusty rose color. Well, you know, I got that dusty rose kind of cube. Remember that little metallic yeah. cube? Let's see if that works. And okay. I did bring some decor in for this thing. Not sure how we want to arrange that yet. I found this yoga bunny. Oh, she found a cube. Yoga bunny. <laughs> Is this not cute? All right. 
Where does the key maybe, need to be? Maybe on the end? Maybe on the yeah. End. Maybe angle a little bit more this way. Yeah, good. Um, I feel like it needs a color separation between the two purples. Why don't we put it? Hmm. Yeah, let's put the flat edge that way. Yes, yes. There's a lot of fluffiness going on here. I know. Let's do it where yeah, it's, it's totally on. Yeah. yeah. What does that look like? Yes, much better. Good. All right. Oh, coming together. I feel like we need a chair in this room. I know we've discussed it. We didn't find a white chair like we wanted. How bad is this? It's pretty different. Yeah, it's kind of hard. I mean, but we might have an extra throw somewhere. Maybe we, we made that pink chair work really well. Yeah. I'm surprised you're not throwing something at us again. Well, let me go find see. something to let throw at us. Find something to throw at Throw to throw. All right, we're gonna see what we have for this, and I'll tell you what else we need. I feel like we're done. Are we done? I think so. This is it. Uh, oh, she's throwing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, look at this thing. Fluffy. So fluffy. All right, let's see. Do we want the brown showing? Do we not want the brown? I think we want to know that it's a chair. Yeah. Because it's a beautiful chair. It is a beautiful chair. All right. There you go. Is that enough chair showing? That pillow is amazing. And we are grateful that we're done with this room. <laughs> I'm Carrie Lawless, and we are Designaholics. Thank you so much for staying with us through this episode. And there's plenty more to come. So make sure to click the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications.